Here we are travelling from Brightwell in Suffolk towards Felixstowe. These first signs we encounter are wrong, as they say that we have a bend followed by crossroads. But in fact we have two side roads on a bend. Next we see a sign partly hidden in the undergrowth. A little editing and this is what it looks like. We're going to join the A14 and we must go left. Have a look at the layout of the road on the sign. Many people will read the sign and treat the junction exactly as it is displayed. Let's have a look at an aerial view and we can see the triangular layout of the junction just as depicted on the sign. A lot of riders will join the dual carriageway using a path like this. Joining in lane 1 as soon as the chevrons end. Some will even do this. Going straight into lane 2. Yet if we alter the view from above, we can see the junction has a lengthy slip road which is there to enable us to pick up speed and merge safely. Slip roads are not all the same length, so each one has to be ridden according to its size. So on approach we need to treat the bend ahead as we would any other 90 degree bend and arrive at an appropriate speed, so we can stop if we need to. In this case we can see the slip road extends some way ahead, so we can start to accelerate while using our mirror and a final shoulder check to move into lane 1. Here we are again approaching the same junction with the A14. We still need to arrive at an appropriate speed. Even though I've been through here just 30 minutes ago, we still don't know what is out of sight now. It's clear, we can accelerate, we're not caused the passing car to slow. Using the mirror and again a final shoulder check, we join lane 1 with no fuss or drama. Finally the same junction, but this time we are following another vehicle. Keep a good following distance. You don't know what they are going to do or how they will treat the junction. The driver correctly uses the slip road and the approaching vehicles in lane 1 kindly move over to lane 2. Remember to moderate your acceleration on the slip road as the car may not be as quick as you, or it may have to stop if it cannot merge. So make use of slip roads where they are provided, but remember some may be so short that you have to stop and treat them as a normal T-junction. Until next time, this is Mike saying, keep safe.